These rocks that I'm sitting on right now are the oldest exposed rocks in Florida. The Eocene epoch was a period of time from around 33 to 55 million years old, and these rocks are from around the middle Eocene, so we're talking about 40, 45, maybe even 50 million years old. Which is crazy because geologically speaking, that's not even that old, but this is the oldest exposed stuff we have in Florida. So at that time, Florida was completely underwater. So today we're gonna to be able to look for Eocene aged echinoids, which are fossilized sand dollars and sea urchins, and they are pretty dang cool. And also in today's video, we're gonna find some very unique geological formations that form in caves in this ancient limestone, and it's some really cool stuff. And there's the potential to maybe find some calcite crystals while we're here today as well. So that would just be a bonus on top of all the other cool stuff. My name is Wild Kyle. I do all sorts of fossil hunting, rock hunting, and treasure hunting here on the channel. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on any adventures. Let's go find some cool stuff. You can probably see how this would be like major sensory overload and it definitely is because there's just so many rocks but you're basically looking for shapes because a lot of the times the echinoids are covered in a nasty algae but like look that's a broken piece of one right there and then look there's another broken piece of one right there and you can tell because you can see part of that star pattern right there is a complete echinoid but it's just covered in stuff so it's really hard to tell i'm probably going to focus on cleaner ones for the most part today i would like ones that i don't have to just clean the heck out of because i usually don't have a lot of time to do that but <laughs> i'll keep ones if i feel like i'll be able to get them clean fairly easily look at that one that's a big fat echinoid oh you can see a little bit of the pattern there so oh wait a minute i was about to go to the water and i glanced over and i saw that fossil sea urchin echinoid right there okay let's wash these off together there you go look you can see that pattern way better when it's wet like that and then this one got some limestone stuck on it but it's pretty big you can see that chunk right there pretty cool oh man look at that one just sitting there waiting to be plucked out of the ground oh my gosh get that stain off of there and that one is gonna look absolutely beautiful oh look there's it's a butthole that chase bat his mouth is like right there under a bunch of limestone but that one is absolutely beautiful i love that they say these boots are non-slip when you buy them but i'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now that they are not non-slippy at all they are very very slippy and it's very scary because if you fall on this stuff you break things <laughs> I was hitting a bunch of nothing for a while, but looks like it might be picking up right here because there's an echinoid right there. That one could probably get cleaned up pretty good. And then this one, oh, hold on. Let's wash it off. Oh, yeah. If I could get some of that orange stain off there, you'd be able to see that star pattern right there. Maybe could get that stuff off the side there, but sometimes I just like to leave it. There's his booty. There's his mouth. Very cool take a couple steps after picking up those two and you see a big old fatty like the fattest echinoid ever let's get him sweat so you can see it a little better oh my gosh this one's gonna look really cool cleaned up because he's a big fat thick boy so imagine this little guy was a sea urchin 40 million years ago just like rocking on the bottom with his big old spines he's like back off i got the spines he ain't gonna eat me you know pretty cool Great blue heron. Look at him fly away. I wish I could fly away. So as a lot of y'all know, if you've been here on the channel for a while, is that hunting fossils and rocks and crystals and old bottles and all that stuff is basically what keeps me going. It is my life force. It is my therapy. Along with songwriting, I'm a songwriter as well. Songwriting is a form of therapy for me as well. So what I want to hear from y'all is how have you been coping with these weird times with like COVID, the elections coming up, everybody's stressed out. It's just a crazy time. I want to know how you guys cope. So let me know down in the comments what you do just to wind down and relax. I seem to have reached Echinoid Galore again. There's this guy. Gross on that side. Not going to keep that one probably. But look at that. That's pretty cool. That one's sticking right out of the formation, which means it should be good on the other side. Oh, we got to get that washed off in a second. But I got to show you all what else I'm seeing. Look at that. There's one sitting right there that looks like if I can get that green stain off there, that'll be pretty. Um, ooh. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. That's one of the nicest ones I found today. Okay, let's get these washed off at the water. Beep, 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 beep,
Okay, this one is really gross, but you can kind of see that pattern. This one that came out of that formation, it's got some limestone matrix stuck on it, but it'll be nice and clean. And this one, looking very... <coughs> oh my... <coughs> I've swallowed a bug. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, that one's very nice. Favorite echinoid of the day so far. That one's pretty sweet. Are you going to be beautiful? Please be beautiful. Oh, 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 it might be complete. Ah! Oh, yes. That's one of the nicer ones today as well. Look at that beautiful echinoid. I'm happy with that one. Ow, tree. Look at that one down there hiding in the trees. You are one that is worthy of my interest, 100%. With a very well-preserved bung hole in the mouth. Up under these trees and stuff is like loaded. Look how close we were to a beautiful sand dollar fossil. Would have been cool, but it will. This is where it's at, y'all. I should have brought bug spray, though, because I'm just getting destroyed by these bugs. Ah, I see one down there. Look at that. That one's pretty nice. Look at this one. That one's really nice. Oh, my gosh. You might be able to see them if you look close, guys. You literally might be able to see the bugs if you look real close. Look at them. That's the no see -ums. Those are the guys that are just biting me like crazy. Stop it! Stop biting me. Okay, this is pretty cool. A huge, giant chunk of rock with just thousands of fossil pieces. Little sand dollars, part of a sea urchin there, part of a sea urchin there. All just like mashed up in one giant rock. There's a couple others right here too. This is always really fun to see them just like that. Oh, barely showing. Let's see. Oh yeah, that one's actually pretty nice. Nice light color because it hasn't been out in the open for a while. Oh man, that's a really cool one. All right. Just in case any of y'all thought I was over-exaggerating about the noceums, I am proving to you right now that I am not because that is nothing but welts on my arm from those things. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, y'all. We found some pretty cool echinoids, fossilized sea urchins and such. And now it's time to find some cool, really weird, funky geologic formations and rocks. So I'm literally standing on the cool stuff right here, right now. So let's start taking a look at it. I've honestly been most excited about this stuff today, guys, because these things are just so weird and they're so cool. Okay, there's a bunch sitting right here on the ground. Let's pick them up, get you guys a good look at it. Okay. <laughs> You see that? That, my friends, is called a coralloid or cave coral. These things form in the caves and they hang down just like that and they're so, so funky. So some of them actually have a little bit of a, like a calcite structure on them and they'll call that sand calcite. So maybe we'll see some of that today. They're laying all over the place. I'm going to take some cool ones home probably too as well just to sit on the shelf because these are great. And Ashley likes to use them for her aquariums, which is pretty cool as well. Oh my gosh. But let me show you where these things come out of. So check this out. Those loose pieces that I was just picking up is basically all this stuff that's just been loosened up from the water over time and just breaks off of this limestone stuff. Like see there's kind of a loose piece right there. And it's all weird, funky, cave coral, coralloid stuff. I'm a geology nerd, guys, so I'm like obsessed with this stuff. It's so cool to me. But this stuff is just like so weird that I just can't help but love it because it's so strange looking. So these funky rocks right here would hang from those ancient caves like this and calcite would also grow from them as well. So we got to keep a close eye out for calcite crystals as well today, which usually have a very unique formation here. Actually, I found some pretty cool pieces here in the past that I'll show you right here. Oh my gosh, that's going to look so good once I get that cleaned up, guys. So pretty cool stuff. Hopefully we'll find some more of that today little mini cave and what I wanted to show you right here was that see that structure on there you can see those little straight lines that's the sand calcite stuff that grows so it's like calcite but it's like got it this coating actually that one's way better right there you can see like the little cube structure it's got like this coating oh right there too oh those pieces are cool it's got this like strange coating on there but they're really cool I like this little coralloid a lot <laughs> I really like that little coralloid, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it in my bucket and take it home with me. 
I really like these super bulbous ones that are just all like bulbous and like weird and like ah, I don't even know. I just don't know how to explain it. They're just strange and I'm obsessed with them for who knows why. There's a good example of how that calcite grows in there. I picked this little piece up and you can see a little bit of calcite right there in that little vein. You guys might be laughing at me for being so excited about these strange 40 million year old cave coral bubbly rocks, but this is the only place I've ever seen them. So I don't know, man. I just think they're unique and, and kind of special. <laughs> special and weird. <laughs> so this is really cool. Check out all these little tiny coralloid pieces. Look at the little weird bulb on that one and stuff like that. And I tell you what, what I'm going to do is keep a bunch of these little ones and send them to Patreon supporters. So if you guys are on my Patreon, to get excited to get some cool bubbly cave coral from 40 million years ago. Well, my friends, the moment has come to be afraid. Very, very afraid and in a good way because I'm seriously looking at amazing calcite crystals. Are you kidding me? Look at it, guys. Oh my gosh, I just peered through this hole and saw it staring back at me and it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, we gotta go over here. Ugh. Ow. Uh. So these things, they'll fall. They'll fall from up there. And that's when the calcite gets exposed. Is this a loose piece? Oh my, oh my goodness. You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. That might be the nicest piece of calcite I've ever found. Look at the cube. Oh my goodness, that's absolutely incredible. I was just gonna be, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm coughing. Look, look, look at it. Are you kidding me? No, I was just gonna be happy with a bunch of coralloids today, but I got this. No, I'm, I'm sorry guys if I'm lasting so long on this, but I can't help it, it's beautiful. I can't wait to get that cleaned up. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get that cleaned up. Oh, my hat, my my hat fell off my head because I'm under a tree. Oh my gosh, guys. Are you kidding me? That's incredible. I love it so much. Check out the underside of this thing too. The sand calcite galore. As I was talking about earlier. Look at that. That's pretty cool too. But those crystals on the other side are going to be beautiful calcite yellow color when I get it cleaned up. Well guys, I couldn't think of a better way to top today off. That was an absolutely beautiful calcite find. But the video's not over yet. I'm gonna get that thing cleaned up and make sure you guys get a good close look at it. So I'm gonna go jump in my car, drive home, get it cleaned up, and show you guys. Let's do it. I can't express how excited I am to have just put that in my car. <laughs> it's incredible. Figured I'd take a little detour over to the coast on the way home, guys, just to make sure you got a glimpse of that absolutely beautiful, beautiful sunset. Look at that. It is just completely gorgeous out here. All right, y'all, I got this thing cleaned up last night. Oh yeah, those crystals look real good. Look at that crystal structure on there. Isn't that so cool? Oh my gosh, that is just such a beautiful, beautiful piece of calcite. Totally unexpected. Normally you don't get real lucky with pieces falling like that, but that piece was just sitting there waiting for me to love it and take it home and love it forever. So super excited about that. Thanks guys for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. I will see you in the next video.